city leaders want to crack down on people and drivers creating chaotic and dangerous scenes like this one that played out in North Philadelphia over the weekend. One officer was injured trying to get control of the situation. Street takeovers and car racing. It's going on all over Philadelphia. People want some action. Action News reporter Walter Perez is live along the Roosevelt Boulevard in Bustleton. Walter, you've been covering this story for us today. And Sarah, with that said, I'm not too far right now from a location where another such gathering unfolded over the weekend. All as city council has moved forward on legislation that would hopefully discourage this type of behavior. Philadelphia City Council has already passed a bill designed to crack down on the behavior seen in this video posted on the Citizens app. Over the weekend, hundreds gathered on the 1300 block of Broad Street with people blocking the roadway as others spun vehicles in circles. Several officers arrived on the scene. A short time later, one of them broke his ankle after getting struck by a vehicle. This type of uh, action should not be tolerated. Councilman Mark Squilla says the bill, now awaiting the mayor's signature, would levy a $2,000 fine on anyone taking part in these types of gatherings, among other penalties. Squilla says the city needs to send a message. Making examples of them and showing folks that if you want to operate this like, like this in the city of Philadelphia, that you will be fined and possibly even have you in your vehicle confiscated. This incident unfolding shortly after Philadelphia police had to disperse other large groups on Saturday night. And just this morning, an action news crew captured this video of dozens of people illegally riding ATVs and dirt bikes in front of police headquarters. We spoke with people who live and work in the city who say this needs to stop. I'm not far from the border of Feasterville, Summerton, and I can hear them doing this in the middle of the night. They do it in parking lots. They do it in the middle of major intersections. I'm a retired police officer, and I've seen such a drastic downfall, even in the zip code here. Crime is going up. Now, along with the officer who broke his ankle, we're told a few other officers suffered minor injuries. We're told we're all expected to be okay. And no word tonight at this point uh, when the mayor might sign that bill into law. Reporting live from Bustleton, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Rick.